Well, greetings from Wisconsin once again. Today I'm like, I'm still northwest of Fenimore. Um, yeah, and southwest of Boscobel or so. Found this other cemetery here. I think it's called um, Breacher Cemetery or so, or Belcher. Oh, I, you know, when I, um, put this video up I'll it'll be in the title of the video okay yeah yep I just filmed the Crown Hill Cemetery and this cemetery looks to be a little bit more bigger like there's kind of like more graves here and all that so well let's look around here's a pretty new grave right here Donald Wetter, March 1st of 1934 to November 10th of 2019. Betty J, June 2nd, 1935. She's still alive yet. Dayton Thomas Belmont, January 23rd, January 23rd, 2006. Just an infant baby. It's buried right here. Schwab, father. George F. 1862 to 1936. Mother, Louisa B., wife of G.S., wife of George Swab, 1866 to 1921. Looks like this person, it says on this stone. Um, born in 1871, died 1884. Eileen May, wife of, um, no, it says Eileen May, infant daughter of Chaz and Christina Babel, born and died May 9th of 1918. Barbara Catherine, infant daughter of Peter and Anna Babel. March 5th of 1916 to March 15th, 1916. Only 10 days old. There's a Schwab here. Born October 22nd, 1831. Died June 9th of 1908. Martin... Augustin or so, Schwab, born March 28th of 1890, died December 7th, 1890. This person born January 21st, 1864, died January 21st of or June 21st or so, is that a, yep, that's an A, so, so he died in January, born January 21st, 1864, died January 21st of 1892. Now this person died June 21st, 1892, Elizabeth Schwab, born 1823, died 1892. Jacob Frederick Schwab, born December 1st, 1831, died November 20th, 1910. 1996, Mary E, 1832, 1920. Minnie Heller, 1883 to 1953. Arthur F. Heller, 1882 to 1934. Here's a baby. 
Born January 5th, 1910. Died January 6th, 1910. Only a day old. John Will, born and died January 16th, 1912. Nellie, born and died January 3rd, 1915. Children of J and B. Beaut, or Beaut, or whatever their last name is. <laughs> Richardson and Lawyer and Lawyer. Kenneth E. 1919-1999. Lorraine E. 1931 to 1999. Coning. Yeah. Kind of some language I really can't read on that one. Frida K. Freymiller, wife of William Koning, March 22nd, 1893 to, Mar to December 12th, 1918. William F. Koning, 1885 to 1970. Eighteen fifty one, nineteen twenty one. Margaret, wife of Henry, eighteen fifty three, nineteen twenty six. Ludwig or Ludwig, born August eighth, eighteen twenty five, died November seventeenth, nineteen oh five. Huh. There's a rug there. Kathriana. Huh. Elizabeth. March 30th, 1879. It looks like she died. Father, 1829, 1914. Christoph, so he died in 1872, mother 1827, the 1891, yeah this stone's broken in half but by the looks of it I think this person died in 1871 as you can see here. August H. And it looks like died, like he was born January 28th of 1885. Died December 20th, 1886. Christine M. Freymiller, born D September 30th, 1827. Died November 29th, 1900. Lenora M., daughter Frey Miller there, born October 14th, 1896 to June 17th, 1897. Caroline Stenner, born October 26, 1874, died, uh, I think that's May 24th, 1908, yeah. Gertrude L, 1911 to 1998. Frederick, 1874 to 1958. Car Carolina F, 1874 to 1952. Carla K, 1898 to 1910. Irwin died just as a baby or so, 1910. Alfred George, 1907 to 1908.
Julius Waltz. Died September 2nd, 1887 at 70 years old. Theresia, wife of Julius Waltz. Died Jane... I don't know if that reads January or not, but yeah. 13th, 1869 at 52 years old. Christina, wife of Peter Babel, died November 11th of 1864, 26 years old. an infant daughter oh infant son of a babel there there's a caroline there but that stone's unreadable that stone there is unreadable there's an infant there i think it's like in let's say 1862 and there's an infant there February 4th, 1861. Now that stone's unreadable. Uh, Koloff Adolf or so. It's like died in 1873 there. Charles P. It doesn't look like that stone's very readable. And that stone you really can't read. Now this stone, I think it's 18, 1886 or something. The stone there that's unreadable. Louise, the rest of that stone's unreadable. I'm not sure about this stone, it's unreadable. I think this person here died in 18, 1867, I believe. Yeah, that stone's unreadable. I think this person here died in 1887. Yeah. I think this person was born, died in 1899, probably just a baby here. Over here is a Civil War veteran right here. Christoph F. Bander, Bender, January 14th, 1838 to May 9th of 1920. Katharina S. Bender, August 20th of 1836 to January 20th, 1922. Joseph Bretschler, September 20th of 1825 to November 23rd, 1886. Katharina, his wife, September 30th of 1830 to October 15th, 1912. Megalenda. I think it looks like she died December 2nd of 1877. Uh, here's a babel, but this stone is pretty unreadable. Well, it's broken in half, anyway. The stone kind of looks unreadable. Yeah. 1880, and can't read the rest of it. This 
person it's like died in 1881 or so yeah Jim Mayo or whatever Kinsley LeMay Dempsey, January 22nd, 1982 to October 20th, 1998. Just a little girl buried there, huh? Of course, that's not terribly old. Ah, uh, this person, a MERS. 1871 it looks like yeah well I think that's it for this cemetery here I mean, it's in a nice peaceful location in that and I think I pretty much read every grave here I know some of the graves here are unreadable and if I mispronounced a name wrong, you know, I apologize for that because, you know, it's just, and plus some of these tombstones are like written in like German or something in a different kind of language or so. But anyway, this is my video here of this here cemetery. So sign off for now.